Good morning, we're continuing to look at David's life and it says in 2 Samuel chapter 11 As he looked out of the city, he noticed a woman of unusual beauty taking a bath. He is the famous fall of David as he looks out of this, if his window and sees Bathsheba, who got the right name, taking a bath and sees this unusually beautiful woman in the nude and he desires her and then he acts on it and goes and gets her to come to the palace and commits adultery which is the biggest mistake he ever makes which is going to cost him far more than any mistake he's made up to now it's going to cost him his family it's going to cost him the throne it's going to cost him untold agonies of soul and pains and and woes as it leads him into murder and the lowest part of his life almost like a different man who is this man is this the same man that fought Goliath and brought him down well he's just been brought down by the Goliath of lust brothers and sisters never underestimate sexual immorality as a serious enemy to Christian life and something that will destroy you and your family if it's left unchecked. Brothers and sisters, our constant battle is to remain pure and holy and to avoid at all costs unfaithfulness and adultery. How many churches and ministries have fallen through adultery? And we can be easily over familiar with uh, other people's husbands and wives and be in the wrong context with them and in a modern culture where men and women spend so much time together it's so easy at work and at church to make a wrong connection and fall and behind it Satan is at work laughing wanting to destroy Christian marriages and families and ministries and has a field day it's interesting that David such a great man of God, such a worshipper, such a tender-hearted, brave man, began to take his foot off the gas and stopped going to war. It says that the time when kings go to war, David stayed home. Oh, well, that was his first mistake. And it says he got up off his couch. Oh, well, he's a very different man than the man who was running around in caves and leading Israel's armies out he's on the couch now and he's got power and he's got a nice house and he's got money and it's a very dangerous part of life brothers and sisters when you stop going to war here's some good advice for everyone keep going to war stay with your brothers keep your sword in your hand get off that couch get out of that house instead of looking at nudity through your window get looking at the enemy's front line and it'll soon sober you up get doing evangelism get growing the church the devil finds work for our idle hands brothers and sisters stay engaged in ministry in preaching the gospel in pushing out the borders of the kingdom of God stay on the front line you'll have so much trouble and so much battle that you won't have time to be a couch Christian and you know what it'll save your bacon let's pray today brothers and sisters that God protects us from the real giants that often aren't the Goliaths they're the internal Goliaths of luxury and laziness which lead to lust and adultery and destruction let's pray that God protects us don't be confident in yourself Never trust yourself, fear God and trust in him. Lord, we ask you to help us to be saved from adultery. We pray that you would help us honour marriage in ministry, in the church, at work. You would help us to flee from sexual immorality. You would help us to close our eyes from looking at evil and our ears from listening to it. You would help us shun evil and fear the Lord. And Lord, we can only do that with your help. Help us, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen.